Hello guys, and fix here. Well, what I got here today? This is a present for myself. This is a digital cluster or digital clock, whatever you call it, uh, for my Ford Fiesta. So I just opened the box, original from Ford. So yeah, it's a bit expensive kit, but well, I deserve it, I don't care. Uh, so hard I work. And is that inside? There we go. Ooh. I'm even scared to take off the bag <laughs> or don't break. So yeah, I will do a video how to fit this on the car, which is very easy. It's not a big deal. But yeah, let's get started. See, <laughs> the car is all in pieces. Um, I'm sorry to not filming and show you everything, but it's not much to it. So to take the screen out, um, you just have a small plate on the back, which it pops up very easily. Then you got three screws here on the top. You undo those, the screen comes out. Be careful if this connected in here. This is a small tab you have to press. Use a small screwdriver to press in and pull out. Otherwise you will break it. And then you got two screws in here, one here, one here. You take it off and you pull it. Be careful if one cable in here, just disconnect the cable. And like you can see, it's hanging and it's not scratching anything. So we just leave the way it is. So you got space to undo one screw here because it belongs to this part here, over there. And then you got two on the bottom, okay? And then after you remove this, so you can grab here from the top, very gentle, and it will pop out. Then the bottom one, you pull it, it will come out easy. This side as well, you pull it. And then you go all the way around with your fingers, very slow, okay? Uh, and you pull out very slow. Here it is tricky, so you can grab if the two hands, one on the top, one in the bottom, two fingers, and then pull it very slow, and this will all come out, and it will break. Okay, just do the way I said, it should be fine. So now I take the, another two screws from the top, and I will remove the cluster and put the new one on, and it's just put all back, and try start the car, and then program everything in. So yeah. I don't show you much details, but I'm explaining to you what I did, okay? Just be careful, it's very easy to break plastics on these days on this new car, so yeah, take your time. So that's the old cluster out, which this video is making like quite after a while. I lost my, um, how you say, I lost my old videos uh, when I was doing this, and it's made in Portugal. Look at that. And the new one actually is made in Portugal as well. <laughs> so yeah, so this one is out, which I will keep it just in case I sold, I will sell, sell the car. I will put this one back and program the millage back because when I will take this one out it was 48,000. Now the car is about almost 43. But now I will show you the difference. And if you really want, uh, I'll show you how I did the program of, uh, of the new cluster. Please let me know on a comment below. And I will do a video to show you how I did um, the coding of this, okay? Because when I fit the new one, the car was like bananas. The cluster stay on all night. It never goes off when I lock the car. It was saying my 4x4 was faulty. And it was saying my car was automatic. It was a, a bit pain. I lost the videos. I will see if I can recover something. But, well, I just have to show you the car all apart, how to take it apart and also to show you after how it looked like. Because I did like this cluster, to be honest. Nothing wrong with it. I like the display, I like the dials. It's a simple cluster, was it was nice. But the one I got now is a big difference, which I will put the picture now here before and after. And then you will see it's much better. It is a big difference. So let's go to the car now. And of course, this was after a while, but let's see how is the new cluster. And I'm sorry about the dog background barking. So this is how it looks like. Uh, like you can see, this is nice. You know, it is beautiful. And also I did change my my um, splash screen, they call. So when you open the door, you can see it will show ST Ford Performance because my car is ST Line X. And before it was saying Ford, but now I change for ST. 
So now I like that thing on the corner it says brake. It don't show the icon of the brake. It actually it actually says brake. So start ignition. Copyright. Um, oh, come on. Turn off this. Okay. So now, like you can see, this is how it looks, and it's beautiful, like you can see. And I will start the car and I will show you some bits he got in uh, because everything in here has to be programmed. So what I did, if you really want the video about this, please let me know the comments below. So I, I will go through on a four scan how I did uh, manage to do that. OK, uh, but when you buy this new or second hand, it will work properly for your car. It will be lots of faults on it. Uh, so I will start the car. OK. Yeah, I disable because I don't like the start stop. So like you can see, I got my lane keeper in there. Um, I got the, um, the miles, how many miles I can go, the speed limits in there, uh, the ref counter. And then if I go here, I got more. This is the selection of, of the screen. So this is the bit you can select, which is the ones I got now. This one at blue was a mission uh, because <laughs> when I programmed the cluster, I get the data from Ford, uh, Ford Scan uh, actually get the data from Ford database. And I did have a fault if my tank, so the car didn't know if it was a petrol or diesel. So that's why when you get the data from the manufacturer, from update from online, you need to go inside and configure everything. Uh, like you can see, I got everything here and I will show you so this is the audio navigation, so it will show you the navigation, you got the phone, settings, and display settings, so you can put here if you want kilometers, uh, echo coach, uh, tire pressure, which you can choose that, language, uh, temperature units, um, lots, of, lots of things in here, that's not all. And then you got the settings, you got driving assistant, so you got this all bit here, so like you can see traffic signs, then you got vehicle, so alarm system, auto engine off, uh, lightning, so you can choose here, the, this, my, li my lights, they are adaptive, so yeah, there's lots of bits here. The locks, you got the mirrors, all life, which I got 75%, that's amazing. Tire pressure, so it will show, well, is an option here to see the, um, the car tires, and it will show you the pressure, I will see in a minute. Yeah, I got this all things, activation here. Uh, let me see the car actually pressure. What is, because I remember I see, that's not on, uh, what is? I remember I see a car here somewhere. Well, this is only, this is my key, uh, which you can create a key. So who driving is the car. Um, so now we go here, so we got this menu in the middle, which you can disable if you want. So calm screen, so if we press calm screen, uh, it's gone, so it will be blank like that. And when I'm behind the car, you can see a car then in the middle, which is cool. We cannot show now because there's no cars. Seat belts, add blue, which is getting a bit low. Ah, there you go, tire pressure. So you can see, that's quite weird, so I need to adjust my tire pressures. <laughs> but yeah, it can show you that. And this is my acceleration and speed, which I'm a good driver, I'm 100%, look at that, echo behavior, huh? that's good. And tra traffic sign, so it goes from the bottom to the top, but I like to leave this one here. And now is the cool thing, so watch this. I got the, the, the normal uh, driving in here, I can select the echo, so it will change color, which is like this greenish color which I'm not very fancy with, but the next one is amazing. I love this one. This one takes all the boxes. It's beautiful how this goes, and the car goes even faster. <laughs> so my next now thing is change this to black, which I know how to do now. I got the numbers, the values. I probably will do a video about this, and I will upload. But I like the brake on the corner. It don't shows the sign of the brake, the handbrake. It just says brake, like America style. Got the temperatures, like you can see on the bottom. Uh, it says sport mode now. And then if I press again, um, it will go to normal mode. Um, 
everything else works so everything is programmed properly even my screen if I press in here I can activate this screen which I can press OK and I will have my screen pop it up so this will will say like the, the miles and things like that like you can see but I don't like to watch to use this much so I just turn off and what else I have to show you yeah everything else working like it should so if I do that everything shows there what it should so I got the sign there and then activate it goes out again and the, the thing I like this when I'm driving the rev counter you can see the one and two is more visible than the three four five but if your revs go quite high you will see that the number three will line up so watch this if I do that you see so that's a very cool feature uh, I like that I don't know when I'm driving on the motorway I think that is cool so yeah so if I turn off the car now and you will see it does this thing like that and then it shows Ford Focus and the millage like you see I drove quite a lot and I programmed the millage correctly um, because even a friend of mine said you should put less millage because it's a new class I bought from Ford I said no I don't want to do that because the car one day I will sell and if the person want to keep this class I want everything how it should be so yeah and it goes off before I program it didn't go off at all it stays on all the time and it was draining my battery so yeah and then when you open the door that shows the, do that and that says for performance and that says focus and it goes off how amazing is that so let me know in the comments if you want me to show you how I did program and what you really need to do that and if you got this car this is a focus 2019 uh, which I will put a picture here you will you will see each one is and if you want to do a cluster change I tell you what do it do it because it works it looks so nice on the night and this was a very very good idea I did have I said well I saw a car like that I said well I want exactly the same so I did because <laughs> I'm like that I have a problem so okay uh, stay tuned for more videos and subscribe like and let me know if you want a video about how to coding this whole stuff so stay tuned for more videos I'll be back